Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm here with another good old-fashioned grind to talk. Today's grinding session is going to be on the LR Goku Black wearing Zamasu's clothes. Strike that, Zamasu Goku Black. So let's go in here. If you're unfamiliar with grind to talk, it's just going to be me grinding this level over and over and over again, and then I'm just going to talk about whatever's going on. Why did I pick you? I didn't pick you. All right. Uh... So let's see. Yeah, there we go. Uh, should I get item? One dead day. All I need is one dead day. Honestly, I don't need any items because this is one of those grind events that is just kind of slow. It's kind of a slog. It could be worse. I hate. I think I hate the seven, seven hundred and seventy-seven Z metal thing way more. The um, the hell are those things called prime battle LRs. Yeah, I don't like those very much. Kind of annoying to me. But hey, I'm gonna get this Amasu, and then I'm debating about getting him to SA20. Oh man. But yeah. Today's grind talk, man. It, it's Saturday, and it's the end of the, um. Basically, the end of the work week for me. It's gonna be a while because, you know, President's Day. I don't think I return back to work till Wednesday or so, so. I get to finally have a break after working so crazy long. Man, work is hard, it turns out, especially when you work in a, a night shift and you're constantly looking at movies and coding them in certain ways. It can get to be a lot. One of the movies, by the way, that I ended up working on, and when I say work on, I didn't do any like the... It's hard to explain what I, my job is, specifically is, but I basically do coding for it. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, which I can't say much about. Other than I worked on it a whole bunch, it's now out. I'll say Sonic the Hedgehog was maybe one of the better uh, movies I've had to work on in terms of it was just really easy. It's hard to explain, like specifically the feedback they wanted for their whatever, without telling you anything about what the feedback was they got or anything else. Um, I don't know. They eventually they figured out what they needed. And then they did something that no other um, movie company has done in the many years I've been working there, which is remove questions. Meaning they were confident enough to go, we don't need this question anymore. Thank you for having it. And it was like, all right. Thank you, Sega. This is great. That's not what the Pokemon movie... Actually, you know what? The Pokemon movie did remove one question. Um, which I think I can reveal this part of it. Um, for Detective Pikachu, there was a question that it was asking where uh at what point like what's your knowledge pokemon not your knowledge but what did you ever play the games and if you did where's your basic like going through so i was the one who single-handedly made that question i was able to say every single game every single generation i knew what they were talking about and i eventually created a code frame that was so good that i think the company eventually just was like let's just make this a closed end we don't need to have people actually legitimately give us the answers and they can just mark what style of whatever they like. So, I did that for that, but that's enough. Point is, Sonic movie. I plan to see it on um, uh, Monday, at least. That's when my sister wants to see it, and I'm gonna assume my brother wants to see it too, because he's a big, Nux is a big old Sonic fan. So we'll go in there and we'll have a good old time. Man, it's crazy to think, man. Like, now that Sonic's out, what's next for video game movies? Detective Pikachu 2? An actual legit Pokemon movie? It's hard to tell. It's hard to know, really. Um, in general, I'm always thinking about, like, what can... Uh, now, it's funny, because now I uh, think, like, maybe Mario? But then how do you do a Mario movie that doesn't immediately remind everyone of the terrible Mario... Have you, I don't know if you've ever seen the Super Mario Brothers movie, but it's... It's a special brand of awful. It's just like Bob. To be fair, it has some fantastic talent. It has uh, John Leguizamo, everyone's favorite, Shid Schlaf. It's got Bob Hoskins in it as Mario, because who else would you get to play Mario? Um, and then it had Easy, the guy from Easy Rider, who I cannot. Dennis Hopper, who is also in. Um, oh, I got my LR now. Yeah! Well, let me. Dennis Hopper, who was in Easy Rider, and he's been in a whole bunch of other good movies <laughs> that are not um, specifically that. I have you now. I'm never going to use you, I think. 
Yeah. Never gonna use you. Never gonna use you, but thank you for this. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah. As you can see here, I did have stones at some point, and then I blew it all on another round of Gogeta. So that's another 150 stones that did not give me anything, but hey, what can you do? Let's, uh, I got one ticket. I'll throw it here. Let's see if I can get an SSR. And then we'll get back to grinding. Oh, Vegeta, you piece of shit. Why did you show up? If it was criminal alone, I would have gotten an SSR, guaranteed. Now there's just a small chance. This is an SR. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, Winnie the Pooh. Terrible. Just pure terrible. I think I'm going to change the grinding to, um... To, what is it, Vegeta and Rats? Is that their name? Yeah, totally is their name. Where are you, Vegeta and Rats? There you are. I'll switch it to the easy area for um, these two right here. Um, but yeah, the Super Mario Brothers movie. But, um... It's got a surprisingly good cast. It has. It's really weird though, and when you read about um, anything about it, it's always revealed like, oh, we did this movie while high on drugs. Everyone was drunk. Uh, John Leguizamo got injured basically on day two, and from that point on, had like a giant cast on his arm. Which is like, damn, man, that's terrible. But yeah, that that movie's so bad. It had to, it basically caused the stink of like, um, movies about video games are basically box office disasters. They'll never make back their money. And I believe they tried again with, I don't know if Street Fighter was immediately the next one, but I want to say it is. Let's just say for sake of purposes, the next big one would be Street Fighter. Um, that bombed, and then right afterwards was... Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat had trouble getting funded just because it was like we funded so many video game movies and it's shown that they don't ever make any back of their, any other money so we don't trust them and then Mortal Kombat came out with what is basically I think is still probably the best adaptation of a video game um, out there just because of how like I don't know it's hard to explain like that Mortal Kombat movie feels like Mortal Kombat. And I haven't seen Detective Pikachu. I should get around to that eventually. I worked on it a whole bunch. I ended up not seeing it just because um, I need to give movie... I was trying to give it time so I would forget everything that happens in it. And uh, I'm almost there, but not 100%. So I, I'm, I'm holding off, basically. Um, but yeah, the Mortal Kombat movie's great. It has like the theme song, you know, Mortal Kombat, doo -doo 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 -doo. it has, um, the craziest guy playing Raiden, I can't remember his name, but he has, like, the weird, he's like, Outworlders, hello, it's me, Raiden, <laughs> sorry, stuff like that, um, Johnny Cage was just genuinely funny, Sonya Blade was great, the guy who got Liu Kang was great as well, and I think that's also where it kind of started to you started to see the signs of like, um, I forget at what point Mortal Kombat realized that they should not have had Liu Kang as their main character, <laughs> but I want to say it's maybe around that movie because eventually um, the focus was shifted to the other characters because there's not much you can do with Liu Kang, and I think it's by design that they've accidentally just they uh, at that point had just made a dude who was really good at kung fu. But you can't really do much with a man who was really good with Kung Fu, which is why they eventually killed him and turned him into a zombie and did all this weird stuff with Liu Kang. And then in the recent storyline, he's evil, and but sometimes he's not, depending on the timeline. It's all weird. And What I was trying to say here is that that original Mortal Kombat movie is great. I love it. I think I can legitimately still watch it today. That's how much I like it so much. Um, what? And, of course, I screwed myself out here on this Vegeta essay. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I wonder what's next. I mean, um, maybe not Mario, because Mario is hard to make a, video, the, a movie based off Mario off without seeming like some kind of crazy person. Like, what is there to Mario other than he's Italian, he's a very good plumber, he jumps high. Maybe if they want to do a um, movie based off the events of Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, that'd be pretty funny. I don't know 
Who would you get to play like Mario nowadays though? You know what they should do for Mario actually is that they should make it like, uh, you know how Sonic's in 3D? They should make a 3D render of Mario. So he's the CGI but everyone else is human around him. And then just get Charles Martinet at that point. Give him the voice, make him say wahoo, do all that good stuff. It's, I had similar, um, I'm not able to cast movies just because I don't know enough of like, I know dudes from mine, but maybe it's also because like no actor can actively portray um, the characters in my head the better than the way they are depicted in their franchise. Like One Piece, for example, when that Netflix uh, thing came out, I didn't, I don't know who could play, um, <clears throat> I don't know who could possibly play Luffy because that seems crazy. I think w someone said the guy who plays Spider-Man, not Tobey Maguire, the current one. What's his name? Freaking, um, sad boy. Sad boy white guy. Um, but either way, sad boy white guy, no, no leggy. No thank you. Not for Luffy anyway, he's fine as Spider-Man. Does perfectly fine as uh, Peter Parker, but he does not have the Luffy quality of chaotic asshole. So I, I can't I can't see him as that again personal thing, um, but the same thing goes like to go back to Dragon Ball. Who do you cast as Goku? Who's got the range besides that one Canadian dude who was super high um, every single time he was filming as Goku in the Dragon Ball Evolutions? Who do you get to play Goku? John Cena? John Cena's Goku? Maybe. Would I watch John Cena's Goku? One hundred percent. Would anyone else? No, not really. That would be pretty great. I think he's got the... The problem is is that uh, John Cena does not have the face, and he looks weird with hair. I don't know if any of... So most people know John Cena for the buzz cut kind of look he's got. I don't know if you've ever seen him without the buzz cut. He looks uh, like a bizarre man. I don't, I don't like it. He kind of looks like a news... Like a way too buff newscaster or something. Not the biggest fan of it. Oh, here you go, Raditz. Raditz does all the work, and then Vegeta just does the beam. What the hell is this thing, by the way? I've never seen Dragon Ball Super, so I have no idea what the hell this, like, evil meerkat-looking thing that Broly seems to have summoned. Oh, he stunned him. Well, that's good. Oh, I love that Super Saiyan God Goku's about to fucking Rasengan these tiny children. Get out of here. They're dead. Alright. I'm, I like going back just because I'm never 100% sure how many medals I have for anything. And I want to do the ultimate form of... Um, the ultimate form of what? I was going to say something and I completely forgot. The ultimate um, potential out of my... St there you go. I want to get the most out of my stamina is what I was trying to say, but I was too dumb to say it. Nope. Alright. Another one. Let's see, 18... Okay. Go in here. Oh, I unlocked something. That's nice. I'll look into it later. Um, I still really don't like easy areas, by the way. I just don't think they're very good. But, hey. I could... Don't want to bore you with more. I think at this point, most people have accepted the fact that they're not very good. And the people who do enjoy them just kind of quietly enjoy them. And have fun with this. I guess at least you can have fun with this. Speaking of fun, by the way, uh, I've gotten really into Apex recently. I don't know why I decided with the worst internet I could possibly have, I decided to play Apex, but here we are. Uh, and I've been having pretty much a lot of fun with it. I'm kind of late to the party, but it's fine because it seems like everyone's equally as bad as me, even the extremely. I was always afraid, like, oh my god, this guy has like all the stuff on their profile picture. They must be like veterans of the game. And the answer is usually they're not. They just play a whole bunch, just like me. <laughs> so we end up dying. But the ones who are truly good are the ones where I'm like, oh, there was like this one person. I wish I could remember her name. She was like a lady who makes shield. But we lost. We disconnected from our. Um, our original partner for that specific thing so it was just us and she was like wrecking shop and i was like joining up with it and we were like basically two two against the entire world and it was fun it was a whole lot of fun i really liked it and i think that game it was a shame when we lost <laughs> because inevitably like we just 
I thought she had went down and then it turned out like no she was perfectly fine and I was an idiot and I I basically cost us everything because I was like oh god why am I like this I'm sorry new friend I've disappointed you in so many ways uh, but for the most part I'm always like I don't know if you have this, you know, if you do have this kind of feeling, you know, tell me about it, but this feeling of like playing specifically games where it's a competitive environment where you have to be in a team. This is something that I always had a problem with, like in League of Legends and um, um, Dota 2, which I played a good amount of. And I occasionally played Dota 2 uh, online and I just like, could, I always played support because I was afraid of like, um... If you're supportive, you're doing your job. So when you lose, you can always go like, Hey man, I did my best here, but my best was clearly not good enough. I can't win us the game. I can only support us from the sidelines. Um, uh, so that's why I usually like to play support in those types of games. Um, Overwatch, which is kind of similar, because you have to be forced into a team. Um, you have to, uh, I always played Lucio, because I love Lucio, I love the way he plays, I like the support way he's got it. I was a really good Lucio player when Overwatch was um, my thing I used to always like to, to play with like my Trash Alliance co-founders, Nabe and Lerp. We had a lot of fun, um, but specifically like modes like that where it was like kind of competitive, I always felt like weird because I didn't like, I don't like fighting real people, and I don't like letting those, I don't mind dying, because I die all the time, um, and I sometimes do kind of care about it, because sometimes I'm just like, oh my god, I've, I've, I suck so much at this game, um, but I just don't like letting my team down, even though I'm, if even if I'm not the person who takes down, makes us lose, basically, the idea of me potentially being the person that makes us lose is enough to make me never want to play those kind of games. Um, I'm always afraid because it's, I always see it as like me ruining someone's potential good time. Uh, and I wonder like when this started because I don't, I don't know when. Maybe it's because I'm not a team player. No, I'm totally a team player. The problem is, is that I'm not a team loser. I don't like the idea of losing and it being because of me. Um, which is silly. Which is a silly thing to think about because you can't stop yourself from being that. Um, and yet it constantly makes me think about it. So I was always hesitant. Like, I originally was playing with um, Spoot and Wong. We actually, they, um, Spoot did a, um, from um, Fortnite Gaming? No, not Fortnite Gaming. Fort, <laughs> Fort Misery Gaming. <laughs> I gotta stop, like, I've had, to, one time I had to do a shout out for, uh, not, not had to do, I did a shout out for uh, Spoot in one of my Dragalia videos um, because he guessed uh, correctly that Dread King was coming and I was like, oh man, he this is a really cool story, I'll tell him. I could not remember the name of his organization, which he does with, um, I believe, I can't remember if it's more than one person, it has to at least two people. Um, but I couldn't for the life of me remember the name of it, which is... Um, I keep wanting to call it Fortnite Gaming, but it's not called that at all. So, Fort Misery Gaming, there you go. Um, you should check them out, by the way, if you haven't. I actually think they have more subscribers than me, but whatever. <laughs> go check them out anyway. Every bit helps. Um, but what was I saying? So I would play with Spoot and Wong, and Wong isn't, I think, a part of any known thing. Except for um, hashtag Wokey Gaming, which I created, and there's only two members, Zenrot and Wong. So Zenrot and Wong are the only two members of uh, hashtag Wokey Gaming. Um, but I played Fortnite with them, and it was a whole lot of fun, and he did a live stream of it. Um, and you got to hear me for a bit, because I was like, it's actually very hard for me to be on voice chat during the day. Unless I'm sequestered away from, a, um, from this specific location where I always record. And I couldn't do that for Apex because that's literally like the big ass PC. I can't play Apex on a, a a dying old PC. And by PC I mean laptop. Um, so I got to play with them and it was a whole bunch of fun and that helped me feel like, all right, well, they're my friends. I don't mind losing when it's us together as friends. <laughs> then it all works out perfect. 69! Oh, I passed already. It's fine. Um, what was I saying? 
Apex. Point is, is that I don't like playing team games where I could potentially be berated by a person for being bad because I have no counterpoint. I'm new. It's my first day. So if someone calls me out on the intercoms and he's like, you're a piece of shit, which I assume to happen all the time because of League and Dota 2, it turns out Apex's community, as far as I can tell, isn't like that. So that was nice. That was a nice feeling of jumping in. Um, I never really got um, called out for my bad play. Uh, which is great because I couldn't I don't think I'd be able to handle it. I mean there's a report player function, but you know I don't want to use that unless I'm unless they're being racist or something um, All right, let me go in here. I think they only need one more, right? I think that's correct. No, they need two more This is dumb. There you go. Like you little cross-eyed little- oh not cross-eyed, cross-armed. Raditz, you crazy-haired man. You look- you look disturbed, is what I'm trying to say, in a nice way. Oh, I only really did need one more. Ah, uh, but it's a couple more. So, that's the end of the grind to talk. Thank you very much for, um, if you made it this far, make sure to leave a like. Leave a comment, um... I mean, you don't have to leave a comment. Actually, you, you know, leave a comment if you want to talk to you want to talk to me, because you know, otherwise it's just me like grinding and talking to myself, and that's lonely. I should change this header thing. Let me go into this here. But the point is, is if you made it this far, please leave a like. I constantly forget to say it in the beginning of the video, um, for various reasons, because I'm not very good at YouTube. How the hell do I change this? All right, one moment, right here. No, that's Shenron. That's Shenron. I have to be careful here because I, I might accidentally expose my information. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next thing. Goodbye.